Hey everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to another Weekend Art Challenge. Today I'll be fusing Sonic the Hedgehog with Spyro the Dragon. Let's get started at the top left side of our page with Sonic's nose. So we're going to draw a circle starting from the top, come around to the bottom, and then back to the top. Now on the top left, we're going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight, and then color the bottom area in black. Now from here we're going to draw in Sonic's muzzle. So on the left side of the nose, we're going to curve down and then go up. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming down and then curving up. From here we're going to round up the side of the muzzle and then come down towards the chin. So on the left side, it's going to round this out, pull it in, do the same thing on the right, rounding up the muzzle and coming in. We're going to connect these down at the bottom. On the right side of the muzzle, I'm going to add in Sonic's mouth. Starting on the outside here, we're just going to curve down and then in. Now directly above the nose, I'm going to draw on the brow line. Starting at the left side, we're just going to curve down just above the nose, leaving a little bit of space in between. Going back up on the right. Now I'm going to round up the eyes and come down towards the top curve of the muzzle. Round this out and pull that in. In the center of the brow, I'm just going to draw a short line coming up, just to separate out the brow. Now we're going to tuck the iris and pupils underneath the brow. So on the left side of the nose, underneath the brow here, we're going to draw an oval. Coming down, and then back up. We're going to move over towards the right side and draw on the same oval, starting from the top. We're going to come down to the same height as we have on the left. Now in the center of each iris, I'm going to draw a smaller oval for the pupil, and color that in black. Now we're going to draw on the sides of the head. So on the side of the muzzle, I want to curve around the eye, come up a little bit higher, and then pull that in. So go a little bit higher at the top, and we're just going to hook back the brow. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right. Starting on the side of the muzzle, go out, go to the top, and then just hook that in. Now from this point, instead of adding Sonic's ears, I'm going to add in Spyro's horns. So let's start at the top of this curve, and go out towards the left, and then pull that up. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Going out towards the right, and going up to the same height. Now I'm going to taper this back in behind the brow. Let's add some lines to the horn. So we're going to step up from the brow, just going to curve across and then in. We're going to repeat this all the way towards the top, leaving an even space gap in between these curves. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's draw on the top of the head. Just above the brow on the left side, we're going to curve up and then pull it in towards the side of the horn on the inside. So we go up, pull that across, and then down. Now before I finish off the head, we're going to come down and work in the body. So we're going to start just below the chin here, we're going to draw on the front leg. Come out towards the left, and then we'll pull it down towards the ankle, towards the right. Now let's move over towards the left and draw on the profile edge of the body. So to the, the left side, we're going to curve down and out towards the left. Now we're going to round up the belly and then pull it up just above this line here. Coming around, and then tucking the belly in behind the front leg. Let's add some lines in the chest. From the left side, we're going to curve across, and then down, we're going to repeat this. Leaving an even space gap, going directly across. Now right here, we're going to go straight across, and then start to change directions. We're going to curve downwards. Down, and then over, and then one last time. Now from this point, I just want to draw the cuff of the boot. So we step over towards the left, curve down, and then go up. From here, we're going to step in and draw on the back side of the leg out and we'll pull that up. Let's add in the cuff. From this curve we're going to step up on the side of the leg, go around and pull that in. Do the same thing on the right, going around and then in. Now we're going to step out and just curve and connect at the bottom. Going around, 
towards the right and then tucking that in. Now from here, I'm gonna draw the shoe facing forward. So let's start on the left side of the cuff, curve out towards the left and then down. Go to the right side and do the opposite, going out towards the right and then down. We'll connect those two points with a curve towards the front of the shoe and then back up. Now I'm gonna take that curve and just duplicate it right above just for the sole. Now let's add the stripe on the top of the shoe. Starting on the left side, curve up towards the cuff, and then down on the right side. We're gonna step down towards the sole and do that same curve, going across and over towards the right. Now let's tuck the left leg in behind the body. So lining up the top of the leg right up here, we're gonna curve out and then pull that in. We're gonna add that cuff line. Stepping over, curve down and then back up. We step in, I'm gonna curve this in behind the body, going up and in. Let's add the cuff around the leg. So from this line, we're gonna step up, curve around, and then in. On the right, we'll step up, curve in the opposite direction. Now we're gonna tuck the bottom part of the cuff, stepping out, around the side of the bottom, and then back up. Now with this shoe, you're gonna see it from the side profile. So from the cuff, we're gonna curve down towards the heel, Let's round out the bottom of the foot. Curving down, then back up towards the toe. From here, we're gonna curve up in behind the cuff. Now we're gonna take this curve and just duplicate it right up above. And then we'll add that stripe. At the top of the cuff here, we're gonna curve down and in. We're gonna step over and draw that same curve from the top of the foot, coming all the way down. Now let's move back up and draw in the back coming in towards the wing. So from this side of the neckline, we're gonna step over towards the right, come down, and then over towards the right. Now we're gonna overlap the wing. From here, we're gonna come in, curve up, over towards the right. Now we're gonna do a hard turn, coming in towards the head with a curve. Now let's go to the tip of the wing. From here, we're gonna curve up and out towards the right. Now we're gonna work our way back in towards the edge of the wing here. So we're gonna taper from the tip, Taper it in. We're gonna follow this curve, coming down. Now we're gonna pull this in towards the body. Now let's connect those two points with a curve with a socket. Now let's add the flaps of the wing. From the tip of the wing here, we're gonna curve in and go back out towards the right. We're gonna do that again. Coming in, then out. Now from here, I'm gonna curve in towards the base of the wing here, going up and then just pulling that in. Now from this little point here, I just wanna draw a straight line to these two points here. Now before I continue with the body, let's finish off the head. So this curve in the head is gonna come down to a spike. So in behind the horn, the curve down. Now we're gonna taper that back in to right about there. We're gonna do a longer spike coming down. Now this is gonna probably go in behind the wing like that. Now we're gonna step in and just taper in towards the head, leaving a little space. I wanna add one more spike coming down. So curving in behind the wing. Now this is gonna come down to the tip here. Now we're gonna pull this in behind the neck. Curving up and then in. Now let's continue with the body. So the back of the neck is gonna go in behind the wing. Now I'm gonna curve it down towards the hind. Coming down like that. Now I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and continue that curve coming down towards the back angle. So coming down to right about there. Now I'm gonna add that cuff line. From here we're gonna step out, curve down, and then back up. From here I'm gonna step in and curve in, aiming towards the bottom of the belly. Coming out behind the front leg. Let's add the cuff. So behind this leg, we're gonna curve around. On the right, we'll go in the opposite direction. Now let's finish off the bottom of the cuff, all the way around. Now let's point this shoe going back towards the right. So from this cuff, curve down towards the heel. We're gonna curve the bottom of the foot, coming down and up towards the toe. Now from here, we're gonna pull this in behind the cuff, going up and then in. Let's add the sole, taking this trim and then duplicating it right up above. From the top of the shoe, just underneath the cuff, we're gonna curve in and then down. We're gonna step down and draw that same curve. 
Now we're gonna push the tail in between this little gap here. So stepping up, curve across, and then up towards the tip of the tail. Now I'm gonna taper this back in behind the leg. Coming down, and then in. Now let's add the tip of the tail. For the point, we're gonna step down, curve up and out towards the left. At the bottom, we'll go in the opposite direction. Now we're gonna curve up towards the tip of the tail. Curving up and in. Let's add a few lines in the tail. Starting from the tip, we're gonna step down, curve across, and then we'll repeat this curve all the way towards the base of the tail. Now right in this space, you might see a little bit of the back leg. So let's start underneath the belly, curve down and across. Now from the outside, we're gonna curve the wrinkle of the cuff. Step back, curve in behind the other cuff. And then from the side of the cuff, we'll curve down in behind the front foot. Down here, we're gonna go straight across. We'll add the sole, stepping up. Now let's add that stripe along the top. From the cuff, we'll curve down, move over towards the left, and then just add that detail. Now let's move to the left side and draw the wing in behind the body. So we're gonna line up the base of the wing, go up and out with an angle. Now from here, I'm gonna curve up and in towards the face. Now we're gonna curve out towards the tip of the wing, going up and then out. Now let's work our way back in. So from the tip, we're gonna taper this back, curve down, and then straight in behind the body. Now let's add the edge of the wings. From the tip, we're gonna curve in and out, that again, curving in and out. Now we're gonna pull this in towards the base of the wing. Now let's connect these two points with that point right there with a slight curve. I wanna add some of those spines across the back here. So let's start at the top. Just beside the neck, we're gonna hook it down and then we'll taper it back in. We're gonna repeat this all the way down towards the tip of the tail. Now we can go a little bit smaller as we come down in behind the wing. You see that we're getting a little bit smaller as we come down. So it's hooking it back, tapering it down one more. And then finally, I just wanna add a little bit of scale texture. We're gonna start with the front leg here. Start on the inside of the leg. We're gonna curve up and down. We we'll do that three times, linking three U shapes. We're gonna step down draw two. Step down again, we'll add one. Now let's add a few on this side. We'll do two curves. We'll step down and add one. Let's add a few on the side here. Start with two. We'll do three along the bottom here. And then two more. And that's pretty much it. There's this week's fusion between Sonic and Spyro. I hope you enjoyed today's art challenge. Make sure you subscribe and send me your challenge ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.